Namaste. Well, yesterday was Guru Purnima, the day, the full moon, when the Guru is celebrated. And <laughs> one of our students, a nice young man in Philadelphia, USA, uh, took some psychedelic mushrooms and realized himself as Brahman. So I'm just in ecstasy. <laughs> I'm over the moon. <laughs> I'm so happy for him. He got what I got in 1984. The goddess works in many unusual and strange ways. Uh, we have to learn her ways. Our ways have not given us anything except suffering. So when we follow her, she takes us to the feet of Shiva. And in that place, we realize everything. I wish I could take you all there. Now, this is not a blanket endorsement of psychedelics. Don't take it that way. Uh, so much depends on the mindset, the understanding, the view, the intention that it's not like you drop mushrooms and automatically become enlightened. No, no. The psilocybin mushroom is a cognitive amplifier. So whatever your cognition is, it's going to make it stronger. If your mind is full of junk, well, <laughs> then you're, that's what your trip is going to be too. But if your mind is set, your intention is fixed on Brahman and self-realization, then that's what you'll get. To give a small example, there was one passage in A Love Supreme by John Coltrane that I was trying to figure out as a musician, you know, and it just eluded me. I could not get it for years, you know, I mean, decades. <laughs> what the heck is he doing? So one day, I remember I was, I was up in Minnesota, of all places, and I had some mushrooms with me. So I set up my keyboard, set up my uh, player, started to play Coltrane and took some mushrooms. And within 15 minutes, I had it figured out. So there are certain things that cannot be understood in ordinary state of consciousness. Uh, Einstein famously said, no problem can be solved in the same state of consciousness as it was created in. In other words, we look at reality, and there's so much that's inexplicable. So we make a problem out of it. <laughs> How is this working? How is that going? Why is it like this? But the same consciousness that makes the problem or states the problem, can never solve the problem. That means we have to change our consciousness somehow or other. Whether it's by yoga exercise or meditation or fasting or drugs or something. Uh, and it has to be the appropriate time and place. You cannot go to a party and take LSD or something, and expect to get self-realized. Ain't going to happen. But what we can do is we can set up our mind and our intention to focus on the problem of self-realization, 
and then transcend it. In the transcendence, the answer will appear. So I'm very happy for my student and uh, or my friend, really, he's my friend. We talk, we chat back and forth like, you know, buddies. <laughs> so uh, as once he gets settled, once the realization is uh, digested, maybe in a few weeks, I want to do a Zoom call with him and record it and uh, talk more about the details of his realization. But from what he told me on the chat this morning, he got it. He's there. He's in a jutta view. So I'm very proud of him. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like a daddy, you know? <laughs> and uh, I'm looking forward to more of our students reaching these exalted states and realizing the actual purpose of human life, which is the release from suffering through self-realization. Aung Tatsat. Aung Shakti Aung.